Alright, hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over one of the most broken um, add-ons slash weak auras that I've seen in the game for a very long time, and that is called Nameplate Circles. Um, it's not broken in the fact that it does anything extra, really. It's just a very well-made add-on that, you know, visually represents things in the fights very clearly. Now, that is very important for things like Spellblade and Star Ogre, um, and even Tychondrius. And the Saturn works for all of those fights. It's It's been made to work for all of those fights. And you'll see in a minute when the Mark of Frost come out what I mean. So what this add-on does is it simply just highlights the people with certain mechanics. Highlights their buffs, debuffs, you know, and you can see on this puts the stat count in. So you'll see here that we can, you know, you can clearly see who's got what mark, who is marked with which person because they're, you know, they've got the color representation on them. So one person's green, one person's purple, and then you know which group you're in. This almost completely trivializes this mechanic. Um, it's it's still a very hard mechanic even with the add-on. The add-on doesn't play the game for you, but it, it allows you to set up how you do some of the mechanics a whole lot easier. You know, with this kind of with this kind of thing, you can literally just free for all wherever the marks go. You kind of know who your partner is, and you can just you know run over and hit them. Um, so it is it is a fantastic add-on. Um, props to I think it's Faux Guild who made it. But I also I'll give you links um, in the description uh, after I show you how to set it up. All right. All right, so all you have to do to get this week for it is you want to be going to this wago.io page for the Faux Guild nameplate circles. Now, Faux Guild has a bunch of um, very good week uh, so I suggest you, you know, you can Google search them and see what they have. Um, but all you need to do on this page is just go copy import string. Once you have that, you want to go back into the game and then go slash wa to open up your week -orers. Once you've done this, you want to click on new and then click on import and then paste in the import string. Once you've done that, click done, and then import. I've already got mine import, so I'm just gonna click X. So once this is in your week is that's all you need to do for the setup. Um, the next thing I wanna show you how to set up is for the KUI nameplates. Now KUI nameplates works very well with this add-on. I know there is some issues with LVOI nameplates and the default nameplates aren't very good, so I can I highly recommend if you're using something like LVOI right now, um, you turn off the LVOI nameplates and install KUI nameplates. All you need to do to do that is go into your slash EC to bring up LVOI, go nameplates, and then you click enable, which will disable them. And then after you've got KUI nameplates installed, you can go through and configure KUI nameplates. Now KUI nameplates is a fantastic nameplate add-on. It is a very, very powerful nameplate add-on. Um, so the two things I would say to do for this is make sure that friendly targets and yourself are click through. So you want to, you need to have um, friendly nameplates enabled. So for anyone who doesn't know how to do that, I believe the default key is Shift V unless you've unbound that. So I'll go through on how to do that. But the two setup things you need to do for KUI nameplates um, that I highly recommend doing would be to make the friendly and personal targets click through. Now, why would you want to do this? This is because if you don't have it, you, you will have this huge box around the top of every player where they're actually click clickable. You can see now that this person slightly highlights when I go over their name and then on the nameplate it doesn't, um, or it's not as big as it should be. Um, if you have friendly nameplates installed, there'll be a big box above everyone's head where you can click and target them, which gets really annoying really quickly if you're trying to like change to different enemy targets or something. It's just, a I find it a pretty big inconvenience because I'm not actually ever going to be clicking someone based on their position in the game. Um, I'm always going to be using my road frames. So make them click through, and then you also might want to go to auras and turn off show auras. This is on by default. I will turn it off because what this does is this makes it so it tracks all your auras. So if I put, say, um, prayer of healing on somebody here, you can see the echo of light coming up. I don't really care if someone's got echo of light standing in front of me. Um, it's just a passive effect. So, you know, I'm going to be turning off show auras for that, and that turns off things like, you know, prayer of healing, um, prayer of mending, stuff like that, just the auras you put on people. Um, so that's all you need to do for really for KUI nameplate setup. Um, so just remember you have to disable 
um, LVUI, you have to install KUI, you have to import the add-on. And the last thing really you have to do is just make sure you have friendly nameplates turned on. So if you've rebounded the key or if you're trying to figure out how to do it, they've actually removed the interface setting to do it. So all you have to do is come into the key bindings here. You'll see show friendly nameplates and you can just change this key binding. All right, well, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.